Hello and welcome back. On this clip we are progressing with the touch exercise. I am going to show how to teach the dog to ignore the foot hand and target and even later on even follow the empty hand. Moon, ready? So I show the foot and make it quite low and make the other hand a little bit more interesting if the dog and again, as we did before, deliver the food into the target hand. Now let's swap. So the target hand is there. It's very tuck. It's very important that you, as the dog, some dog even might scratch the target hand, a little bit bite it, nibble it. Don't move it because then it becomes more attractive. Then they start chasing the target, uh, the food hand. Uh, make a target hand more interesting by moving. Tuck. And uh, by keeping it stationary, if they would be biting too much or scratch it too much that it would hurt, initially you can hold the target hand with the foot hand slightly higher, so the dog cannot reach, and tuck, and easily accessible, keep it lower and more <coughs> easy to access the, the foot hand, so the, the target hand. So, so the foot hand is high, target hand tuck, low. And again, high, low, tuck. As the dog progresses, you can start lowering. The dog can even nibble it. The foot hand, again, you see, tuck. I had to move into her eyesight my hand because she was nibbling the foot hand, but she couldn't see actually my target, empty target hand. So it's very important, tuck. It's very important that you make the, tar the target hand very visible very attractive, very easy to see and move to it. Tuck. Again, she cannot see the target hand, so she kept nibbling the foot hand. If she can see the target hand, you can see she is moving to the target hand very soon, very quickly. Again, it would be difficult to use the clicker because so I mark it with the tuck. Okay, let's change now positions. Let's do it here. I am more upright. So uh, I changed a little bit my position. So moon tuck. She got distracted with some tuck. Yeah, I think it's enough for her because she is getting a little bit distracted. So, thank you very much and uh, try it out. If you have any problem, get back to us and we can also help in the next video clip sort out any particular problem that you might get with this exercise in your training session. Thank you and see you again next time. Finished.